Hi guys, welcome to Fearless Gray Live. How are you? I'm Jennifer Sloan, and if you want more on Fearless Gray Live, go to Fearless Gray, www.fearlessgray.live, I think. Yeah, it'll take you under a messenger. All right, let's talk about negativity. Why would we want to do that? Well, the reason I think we should talk about negative things is I think sometimes we don't realize like how one negative thing in our life like kind of just like festers into other parts of our life. So I thought like, let's just talk about like not getting enough sleep because it's a really simple thing to look at and a lot of us probably do that. <clears throat> All right, so one simple negative thing in your life, you don't get enough sleep. That seems super innocuous, right? Like it's not gonna like affect people, it's not gonna affect things, it's just, oh, I'm not getting enough sleep, I'm tired, no big deal. But that's really not true, right? Like if we don't get enough sleep, we don't have enough energy to like work out or we don't have enough energy to read or we don't have enough energy to spend time with friends. We had do a bad job at our, do bad at our job because we're tired. All right, so just that simple thing of like not getting enough sleep could lead to so many, like affect all areas of your life. You're not doing as good at work. You're not working out. You're not taking any time for yourself. You just don't have any energy. Uh, you don't treat people as well. Like I so remember when I was, my kids were at home and if I was tired, I was such a crabby, not nice mom, like not fun, any of that stuff. Um, there's a reciprocal to that. Like one good thing can affect so many other parts in your life. So let's say you have a conversation with one of your close friends think, and then you come and you're in a good mood and so you treat others kind, you treat strangers kind, you, um, maybe spend a little bit more time for yourself. So you exercise because you have like those friend endorphins, which are so awesome. And so I think we really need to be careful about like what we allow into our life. If we allow like, or let's say we have like a negative, like a negative relationship for whatever it is. And I know like for myself, like when I had negative relationships, I used to <laughs> foolishly think like I can encapsulate that, right? And it's not gonna affect all my other relationships which of course is not true. Like I might have a negative relationship and I may not be mean or kind or anything else to my relationships, but it's sapping my energy. And so that means I don't have positive energy to put into my other relationships. And so I think it's just, let's stand back and think about like, what are the negatives in our life and why we need to change them? Cause they are, you know, no one thing in our life is interconnected. So I can't like take this negative relationship or this negative thought or negative work environment and think I'm just going to keep it right here because it always seeps out. And again, lo, that same with positive. So if you take action on some negative, let's say it's a negative relationship, you take action and you eliminate it or whatever. The reason it's going to affect all your other relationships because you're going to have more positive energy to put up in the world. You're going to have more energy. You're going to look at people differently. I think like if we have like let's just because we're on negative relationships, it can, ex it can skew how you see even your positive relationships. So I guess the bottom line and the thought for the day is don't allow negative to fester in your life. If it's like not sleeping enough, don't allow that. If it's having a bad relationship with a friend, coworker, whatever, don't allow that. And because uh, take the positive course. You know, like I had a, like, I didn't have a negative relationship. I just have a little disagreement, shall we say, with my brothers. And I let it fester for a half a minute. <laughs> and no good comes from it because I start thinking about it way too much. And they don't even know I'm thinking about it, right? So what happened was like that, that negative, like I was just upset about something. I didn't say anything. I was complaining about it to like maybe my kids or my parents. And it just like kind of consumed me. And it was not even a big deal. That's the key. It wasn't even a big deal. And I just let it consume me. And so finally, like a couple of people told me like, just tell them. So I told them and they were like, why didn't you say anything? Like they were just looking at the situation so different than me. And so then like positive things started to roll from that. So, you know, don't like take a negative and flip it. Take the action you need to act, take or see the positive in it. And like the good will flow from it. Anyways, that's my just thought for the day. Like, don't think you can take a negative and encapsulate it. It's going to affect other things. So take the positive effect of it and, you know, break it down and do whatever you have to do to make 
positive to start to come out of it. I have a great day. We will talk to you later. Black on and remember more dancing. See you later.